What up, people? Okay, so last night I asked you guys what kind of videos do you want to see? And this one jumped out at me for some reason. It's going to be an ITH in the house. I'm basically just going to show you what gear I have, hats, shirts, or whatever. But the most important thing is you're going to see all my discs, like the backstop, my backup. I hope you enjoy this. Some people probably won't like it, but it's a video. So let's go. All right, guys. First, I'm just going to show you what kind of like gear I use for clothing. Yeah, there's underwear right there. Um, the Disc Back by Dude. These are the best disc golf pants I've ever worn. I'm about to go play right now and I have a pair on. I mean, they are super stretchy. They have a great look. I mean, you could probably get away with going to on a date with these. Sir. They're that good looking. They're just, um, they're comfortable. I highly recommend them. There's a um, link in the description to go check out Dude. Uh, the Dude Shorts. All these are Dude Shorts. They're really good. Polos, my favorite polos are the Dude Polos, sponsored by Dude, yeah. I really like the Arden, just the white, clean look. I have some random polos that are kind of not in use anymore. Got a whole bunch of belts, because er Eric Oakley knows why. Yeah, inside jokes, fun. So these are the hats I um, got made at an um, embroidery shop here in Boulder. They're really nice. Got a whole bunch of Team Dismania ones. Got two of the um, the dude hats. These are really good. They they don't really get dirty, and if they do, like those nasty sweat stains you get, you can um, rinse them out real easily, and they'll be good as new. Uh, Acapulco gold. I've had this hat forever. Just I don't know. Oh, uh, and everyone's favorite, another Pokemon hat. I forget his name. I feel bad, but he gave me this um, real old school uh, snap on hat. I don't know. It's like a tool company, I think. Just super hipster. I wear this when I wanna when I wanna be Osprey. A lot of you ask, um, what kind of shoes do you like when you're playing, Eagle? Well, um, right now I am in between two certain pairs that I really like. I'll start off first by saying that it's a, um, a lightweight trail running shoe. It's the Nike Terra Kiger, I believe, Terra Kiger 3. I've had these for like six months and look at the bottom. They hold up pretty damn well for a lightweight running shoe. So if you're a kind of guy who blows through shoes but also likes the lightweight, I highly recommend the Nike Terra Kiger. The other pair that I am a huge fan of is the um, Adidas Sky Chaser. It's kind of an alternative to the um, other shoe. I think it's the Swift R GTX or whatever. It's a little bit lighter weight, kind of more of a trail runner. I just like these. I've had these for three or four months now. They're holding up great. And um, check them out. Adidas is uh, doing some stuff for disc golf, so you so you want to support them. And I just have a pair of Solomon's Gore-Tex. Uh, these are actually my Europe shoes. I mean, when I go over there, the turf tee pads are so good that I can wear these and feel confident because um, it's not going to shred the bottom of these shoes. Like, if I was using these on concrete, they'd be just absolutely toast. Mini basket. The Arva Disc Golf Park disc. Favorite course ever. This is where all the discs are. Let's head to the depths. Oh yeah. Basement in the basement. Igor McMahon. Got a P2 on the floor. Cause I threw it down here all willy nilly. All right. Where do we start? All right guys, these are my discs. All my kind of backups and whatever. These are, uh, first I'll say these are my two bags. This one right here I just got from Grip. This is what I'm going to be using for the 2016 season, at least early season, for Aussie Open or whatever. You guys can look forward to uh, in the bag probably in January, so next month. It's kind of empty right now. I'm trying out some new discs for uh, 2017. So yeah, we'll worry about the in the bag later, but I'll just tell you about this real quick. This is my off season bag. It's kind of um, a little bit of mix of everything. Just having fun really. I mean, I'll, I'm not gonna really tell you what's in there because it's nothing really important. B15 bag though, great off season bag. Smaller, easier to carry. Check them out, grip equipment. All right, uh, so these are my dad's discs. All the discs he has. He's kind of got a weird mix of everything really. I've given him some, given some Discmania discs. Got a swirly uh, FD3, 
Surly PD, 10 time T Bird, a flash flight disc, yeah. Some daggers, Blizzard Boss. Yeah, you get the point. It's kind of a, a little bit of a mix of everything. So, these are the, my Glow MD3s, my stock. I only have two of my own discs. These are the earlier ones, so kind of stiffer and domey. I like these for the overstable, overstable shots. They beat in to be pretty much straight. I have two of the same run. This one's way different because it's really stiff and really domey. I've thrown it a few times in a grass field because I don't want it to get all beat up. This is going to come out sometime soon. Another Glow MB3, just a good backup to have. Feels really nice. I have a five backup uh, European European Open uh, flat MB3s, the Wolverine. These are really nice for sidearms and kind of the straight shots. They have a little bit different feel than the newer runs. I feel like they're a little bit more um, controllable in the woods, so that's kind of why I have them. P-Line MB3 for backup if I ever lose my really understable one. Got two MD, MD2s, stack of backup S-Line P2s, good to have. Backup beat to crap D-Line P2s. It's a very important disc to have in your bag. A really beat up putter. You never know when you're gonna need like a little reach around shot that needs to be super floaty. You don't have to put much on it or for it to turn over. Had this one in my bag for about two years now. So it's very important. I also like it for kind of longer putts. You can put nothing on it and it just stays straight. So really important to have something like that in my bag. Got four Gator backups, really flat glow one that I have one in my bag right now that's really nice. Two Metal Flakes, haven't really tried out, just back up, old school Curly Gator. Really nice disc that just is retired now really. S-Line TD for rollers, all PDs. All C-Line PDs, except this one, Swirly PD. Check out the new run, it's really overstable and beautiful. 10th run PDs, probably a tie for the second most overstable PD besides the first run. I'd say it's a tie between the third. So, really nice, overstable PD. These are all third runs. There's 15 here and three on my bags. Such a nice disc, the value of them is going up. It's just, it's a great disc if you have a little extra power and looking for something that you can throw pretty hard, get to hold a straight line, and you know it's gonna fade back left. Five backup C-Line FD3s. This peachy kind of strawberry run is my favorite. Pretty, st pretty stiff. I like um, the stiffer um, FD3s because I feel like they're a little bit more overstable. Two purple team stamps. I always like to have a peach and purple in my bag. I don't know why, it's just a weird habit of mine. Got some FDs. Five C lines, two fifth runs, three third runs, the third runs a little bit more overstable. Kind of like a T bird, really. Not as overstable as the second runs. Four D line FDs. I think it's really important to have a disc like this, kind of like a trick shot disc. If you're in trouble, you can throw like a little roller out or pitch it like a putt. Since they're so understable, they glide. So a lot of times I'll putt with a D line FD and they'll like flip up. Definitely carry a really beat in or DX type disc in your bag. It'll get you out of a lot of trouble if you learn how to use it. These are all PD2s, except some maxes at the bottom. Some C-Lines, Metal Flake. Check out a Metal Flake, really, really overstable. Probably the most overstable PD2 ever made besides some of the prototype S-Lines. Um, if you are kind of a power player, you're looking for something to fight the wind, I highly recommend this. They're probably not as overstable as a max but they're still really good. It's probably gonna be going in my bag next year. Six uh, second run PD2s, C-Line. They're all yellow. For some reason I like the second runs for my distance shots. They have good dome and I feel like I can get a lot of glide out of them. So these are my distance discs of choice. The newer run swirly PD2s. You can throw them really hard and I know they're going back left. So very, very important discs in my bag. Throw them as hard as I want. You get the point, PD2s. All these are the kind of flatter, softer runs. They're a lot less stable than any other PD2 I've thrown, aside from the P-Lines, but... No one really throws P-Lines. These kind of like, once I beat them up, they're like a destroyer, destroyer-esque. I can kind of get them to flex, highs or flip, or do whatever I want them to do. But they're probably my go-to driver. I throw them for a lot of sidearms. They're a little, it take a little less effort to throw than another PD2, so kind of want to save your arm out there every once in a while. Stack of Metal Flake Maxes. Two kind of skull and crossbones with a vegan twist. Thanks top card, Sean Stover doing them. Carrot and asparagus, I'm gonna definitely throw these. Josh Barnhill from Boom hooked it up with just a stack 
of Metal Flake Maxes. He's the man. And uh, just a random one. Got a stack of um, practice putters, all D-line. I used to putt with D-line, but I use uh, I use uh, P-line now. Got a big old practice box of them right here. They're all P-line. There's actually, um, these are the two KP2s I have. I'm just saving these for probably mid-summer because this is the hardest putter that Discmania makes or made. Super slick, rock hard. It's great for when it's really hot because it kind of softens up more of what I'm used to like playing in 70 to 80 degree weather. So when it's like 90 to 100, these are what I'm breaking out. Aside from that, I just got a bunch of just standard P-line P2s. Favorite putter I've ever used. Just I recommend switching to a, a harder putter. It's just a cleaner release on your hand. So I have some random this that I'll show you just kind of like history. I've just got some random. I got two fat firebirds, Thunderbird, 30th anniversary AVR, Rock Lobster, San Marino Rock, uh, Team R Pro Dart, Old Firebird, Gusta Ray, two first gen Thunderbirds, and someone's arrow that I found at Sale at Ranch. Uh, I think it's uh, Scott Grimes. If you um, message me, I will send it back to you if you really want it. I'm sorry for stealing your disc. So get in touch with me. Random stuff. Really overstable destroyer. Scott Stokely X2. Discraft Z Hawk. Old school SDS destroyer. This thing was in my bag for a long time. It was a lot of fun to throw. Super beat up now. Uh, a Schwangel die destroyer. Courtesy of Sean Stover again from Top Card. He does some awesome dies. Uh, three badass keybirds. Two Discraft drones with cool dies on them some reason. Uh, Shark. This was like my favorite rock. It's an old Ching rock. Pretty beat up. I mean, this thing is like the best for hitting gaps. Just super fun Ching rock. Low H1 for some reason. It's the USDBC disc. Got some towels. This is the coolest towel yet I have. It's a, um, a Don Smith towel. Hooking me up when I was in need at a rainy event. D Money, Don Smith, he's the man. It's a Finnish towel, I don't know. Leave a comment if you know who this character is. I think he's uh, some sort of Finnish cartoon, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm showing you my towels right now. That's really amazing. And uh, Seppu Paju gave me this towel at USDC. I think he made it himself. Super cool tie-dye towel. He called it the happy towel, so it makes me happy when I use it. This is my grip bag. I mean, gr it's my grip bag because all of it is filled with birdie bags and grip, like in the rain. These sports sacks, great for um, when it's rainy, kind of doesn't dry, it dries out your hand, doesn't leave all this residue. Zen Lizard, it's a guy from, uh, I think uh, Durango, makes these uh, cool uh, climbers pouches. Check them out if you're into climbing. I got this ink stamp, which is pretty cool. I'd recommend, it's a really cool way to uniquely stamp your disc. It's called Stays On Ink. If you go to inkstampchamp.com, you can get an ink stamp made for, I don't know, I caught, this cost me 25 to get make and this was like five bucks. So 30 bucks and you'll have it for a long time. So that's kind of what the ink stamp comes out as. That's my personal ink stamp, courtesy of Katie Rose Button and uh, Ryan Miller for hooking up and designing that stamp for me. It's really cool. It's on all my discs now. So if you're looking for a unique way to mark your discs, I recommend getting one of these made. Last thing I'll show you is just my box of trophies. Probably not the best place to put trophies, but just uh, I'm not really in town all that much, so I don't really display them. Maybe someday I'll, I'll put them out, display them, but right now they're in a box. I feel kind of bad. Uh, kind of run you through them. Colorado State Championships, Flying Eagle Open. Oh, they're on the screen. Frontier Open. Oh, God. Oh, this is so bad, I'm breaking everything. Uh, solitude open. Yeah, I don't really want to go through these, and but this is probably the coolest trophy ever. Back to the Future, got a DeLorean right there. It's pretty rad. Got my travel bag. It makes it all possible uh, for me to go places and carry shit. It's uh, a Samsonite bag. Mary Samsonite. So, this is probably probably the most important piece of all of it. So that road life, gotta, need, gotta have a suitcase. Well guys, I think that's about it. I showed you every disc I have pretty much. 
You can look forward to a new in the bag next year in January for Aussie Open. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of different. I went out on a whim and um, someone suggested this video and I forget your name. I'm so sorry, but you'll you'll know if you, um, you're the one who uh, asked for this type of video. And I encourage you to make your own. So until next time, keep on dreaming.